Well, we're under seal and um, we're it's just at the bottom of Carrera. Yeah. And we've just seen uh, a pod of uh, common dolphins. I'm hoping this time I've actually managed to capture them on camera because you know I'm not very good at capturing them. It's a very gusty day though, isn't it? It is. We've got um, two reefs in the main and two reefs in the Genoa, but we're still clipping along at five knots. Um, for a sailboat, that we feel quite comfortable with that. We're quite flat. Um, we're, but, over, we're over at about four to five degrees. Yeah, four to five degrees. Not 45. Four to two five. five. But the thing is, for um, cruisers, that's a nice angle of dangle. <laughs> <laughs> We're avoiding Pool Door in the anchorage over here because there looks to be like about a dozen boats in it. Um, one of the things that we're going to have to do some training on is fore and aft anchoring because with that number of boats in it, I think that's the best way to anchor. Yeah. Just to reduce your swing. So we're going to have to train on that at some point or other. So, still lots of things for us to train before we... Uh... So what's today's challenge? Oh, Beverly's going to take us through um, Sound of Ling. I took us up on the way up. I was doing about 11 knots. Yeah, I think today's challenge is to get through the Sound of Ling and the top of the Sound of Jura before the big storm that's due in a couple of days hits. Yeah, so... Find somewhere nice to sit it out. <sighs> no idea if I'm going to find that, make that all happen, but... We thought Pildurin could have been it, but Pildurin is not going to be it. Well, especially with the number of boats. Um, uh, we did go in it before. And we didn't, and we didn't we, fancy it then. We didn't fancy it then because we knew we'd need to do fore and aft anchoring and we've never done it. But now it's got even more boats in it, so definitely not. Yeah, we'll have to get that care jacker right. So you've got any suggestions on the best way to use your care jacker to anchor fore and aft like a trot? Um, Stick them in the comments, please. We'd yeah. Love, we'd love to hear. Yeah, because we definitely need to improve on that particular skill. Oh, it is. this time so we're not going as fast but it's surprising just a bit further out we weren't getting any tide but now as soon as we're getting in through the link um, our speed has increased we're at six knots at the moment what are we now about? Uh, 5.8 it's dropped back a little. Oh, okay so it's 5.8 so you know it does increase the speed even on neeps um, but it looks a lot calmer sea state than I was fearing. Um, I thought we were going to have a little bit of wind against tide, but we've got not much wind. Uh, the wind's on the... Um, we're making 19 knots of a power wind, but 6 knots of that is ours. Yeah, so... so the true wind's about 13. 13 knots of wind, so it's not too bad really because Regardless of what wind your boat is feeling, the sea state only is, um, uh, deals with true wind and that's the one that's only about 13 knots so you're not going to have too much uh, issues.
Uh, well, we're we're in. Um, we didn't quite get the sail we wanted. Um, I'm not really complaining about it. We had some sailing, <laughs> but Gaylor got 11 and a half knots going up the sound of Ling. I got six knots coming back down it. So our calculation that we would get well down the sound of Jira um, just didn't come to pass. So the upshot is that it's seven o'clock at night. It's getting dark outside. Um, we've diverted to Cruve Marina. Um, We've been here before, we're just going to stay the one night and then tomorrow we're going to get off um, as soon as the tide allows and get down the Sound of Jira and see how far down we can get. Um, getting down to Gaia would be handy but we just have to wait and see. It all depends on weather and tide. Okay. I'm going. You're going that way. Right. Okay. Okay, ready, start. Ready. Tacking. slowly making our way down the very bottom edge of the Sound of Ling into the Sound of Jura, aren't we? Yeah, we're not going particularly fast because <laughs> yeah, 2.2 is definitely not particularly fast. She'll pick up a bit. She will. You've got her she's... very, very close. It's the turn near the corner again. It is, but um, she's not as fast on this particular tack. tack. Because the tide is running across the boat. Yes. However, we are um, lee bowing slightly. In the, <laughs> and we're busy avoiding these ones. Yeah, but we are bis, uh, slightly lee bowing because the tide is coming up this way. Um, my where I'm looking is onto the island, but according to the um, chart plotter here, I'm actually going to be heading to the bottom of the island which is a good 10 or 12, I'd say, degrees. 10 or 12 degrees off yeah. but that's the advantage of a lee bow it just oh See, sorry you're too close too close sorry the tyranny of the corner strikes again but anyway <laughs> i'm too close for those of you for those of you who aren't too sure the tyranny of the corner is when you're trying to get around a corner on something and you're tacking there's this overwhelming desire to get as close to it as you can and get the sail in as close as you can until it lost and then back off a little bit until it lost and then back off a little bit but it really really slows the boat down if you do that because you are so close hauled that you're not getting full advantage of the wind so um, I try and avoid it uh, I think you're a little bit more prone to it than I am but we're both prone to it neither of us ha neither of us can claim innocence yeah we're definitely not innocent on this one yeah. Now I think you're overdoing it a bit. <laughs> no, 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 no. Maybe the wind has shifted. We've got Cory Brecken open. Well, there is that as well. But if you want to tack back, you clear these other boats. Let's just carry on for a bit, but I don't want to get as close to that white pot boy. The one dead ahead. Um, I saw it a minute ago. It's in line with that wind though, up in front of us. Oh, okay, well, I definitely don't want to uh, get close to that. Yeah, well, there's the other pair. Hitting a pot boy is uh, definitely uh, not wise. Definitely not. All right, so we're going to do another tack. Well, you're well clear of the other traffic. I certainly am. So we're going to do another tack. Have you get ready, love? Um, yep. Yeah, hang on. Get the head the right way around. <laughs> ready. Okay, you ready to tack? Ready to tack. Tacking. Oh, over you go. Oh, 
I don't want to build up muscles, but I think I might. <laughs> Wind is a very funny business on a sailboat. Um, currently we've got 18 knots of wind. Um, but we're actually going at 5.8 knots. Um, and um, because the wind is um, we're close hauling, um, we're making 5.8 of that um, of that wind. So, so like at the moment we've got 90 knots of wind we're doing six knots so we're so the sea say is only feeling 13 knots of wind but we're, we're we're actually going at nine uh six knots so it's just a funny business when you close hauling because you can make wind right there's rocks coming up i know there is because i've seen the pile of each yeah Good. Well, not miles, but you know what I mean. Far enough. One mile will do, it's sufficient. It's sufficient, exactly. You wouldn't do very well going backwards, you'd be fighting the tide. Oh, I'd be fighting the tide, no doubt, but it's just... And in this place you can't really do that. No. No, but it's just that, um... Just to get to the top... Of? Of Loch Sween. Right. It'll but be six o'clock. You mean the top, you mean up at the table, like, or do you mean the mouth? The mouth, I mean the mouth. Okay. Um, it'll be six o'clock. Okay. Um, because it's quarter past four now. Yeah. The we're going to go to, um, we're going to get past the lighthouse and we're going to go to Carset Bay. Okay. Um, two reasons. Mainly because light, we haven't got that much light. Okay. Um, well, because six it'll be six o'clock it's four o'clock now five we'll, we'll just about get to the top of um uh the mouth of lock swing of lock swing by six by six right even with these um speeds of six point four knots okay um and then gear there's another two hours there's another two hours so we're talking Four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, we're going to be right on the cusp. That doesn't bother me too much about gear because it is a lit entrance. I understand. But if we're going to Carsick, we're going to Carsick. Mm. And yeah, we'll check it with binoculars so if there's four or five yachts in there, we'll have to keep going. But we'll see what it's like when we get round this lighthouse. Yeah. Um, yeah, we've got to get past the lighthouse in my opinion. Yeah, it's just I can see at least two sets of boats inside of us. 